Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to build this uh, very simple double vertical piston extender. Um, I have another version which goes downwards and I'll be teaching you how to do this one as well. Uh, both of them are 3x3x3 free by free by free, unless you count um, the redstone on the blocks over here. Or I mean the blocks which hold the redstone. Then this one would be 3x3x4. Three by three by so let's get started. Alright. So here's how you build the upward version. Uh, first of all, you gotta lay out your pistons, just like that, and you need a block on top of that. Uh, go out by one. Um, place a block right there, a block next to the glowstone. Put a torch on that block. Um, you can put a switch or whatever you want there. And then you need redstone right here, and you need a repeater over here, set to two. And then you, you can just uh, fill out the rest of it with blocks. Uh, you put a torch right there. And you can put your other block right there. And now you need a repeater over here set to 1. And a repeater here set to 4. And just put one dust there. And that's it. It's done. So now uh, it should work. Whoops. All right, it's like this. Also, one interesting feature about this one is that you can actually use it as, if you wire it up properly, you can actually use this thing as a dual edge mono stable. So to demonstrate that, I will put redstone dust along here and a piston right here as you can see it uh, the p if you flip the switch up it will activate it and if you switch it down it will activate it again right now I will go on to the tutorial for how to build the downward version Alright, so to build the downward version, you'll have to um, all right, just go up a bit, and then you can lay your pistons out, just like so. And then you can just uh, put your block under there and delete the rest of the blocks over there. Um, and now, yeah, right there. Uh, now you can put a block right there and another block right there and oops right well this bit is sort of similar yeah there we go okay this bit is sort of similar to the upward because it also uses a torch and you can just put your switch there I'm just gonna flip it down so that it retracts and you need another torch right there and you need a block on top of that torch and a block to the side of that torch and a block to the side of this piston and now you put a repeater set to 2 going into this block and what this does is that when you activate it um, as you can see it uh, will extend and when you deactivate it um, this will stay on longer than that, and so it will retract that piston. And now the next step is to place a torch there, um, block there, block there, block here, and I mean dust in those two spots, and torch there. And I need a repeater on top of this block which I've just placed, and that can be set to one like so and there you have it now just uh now to get rid of that block you can just activate and deactivate and it will pull itself up so there you have it it's the smallest uh double extender vertical double extender design i've seen uh see if you can be that good luck 